Measles. Measles is a highly infectious viral illness. Measles is caused by a virus called the measles virus. It is a round virus that has an inner core of genetic material which is surrounded by an outer envelope. The envelope has several types of protein that helps it attach and enter into cells. In the past, measles used to be a very common childhood infection and caused millions of deaths around the world. With immunization, the number of cases has gone down dramatically. But despite this, over 145,000 people died from measles in 2013 around the world. Most of these were children under five years of age. Only humans get measles and it is not known to be carried in animals. So what happens when someone gets infected with measles? After about 10 days, people start to get symptoms. These include a high fever, runny nose, a cough, red and watery eyes, and sometimes small white spots inside the cheek called coplex spots. A few days after the initial symptoms, a rash develops. This usually starts on the face and then spreads to the rest of the body. The rash can last about five days and then fade away. It's just a fever and a rash, right? Unfortunately, up to a third of people with measles can develop complications. These can sometimes be quite severe. They are more common in those who are older or very young, pregnant women, those who are immune suppressed, or those who are malnourished. The complications include ear infections, pneumonia, diarrhea, or inflammation of the brain. A very rare condition called subacute sclerosing panencephalitis can affect the brain many years after a measles infection. Measles is one of the most infectious of all the diseases and it is easily spread from person to person. For example, when a person with measles coughs or sneezes, they can spread the virus to others. People can catch it either by breathing in the virus or touching something that has been contaminated with the virus. The virus can also hang around in the air for a while and is so infectious that you can catch the virus by being in the same room as someone with the measles. People with measles are infectious and can spread the disease to others from about four days before they get the rash to four days after. So if someone has measles, they should avoid contact with others to reduce the chance of spreading the infection. This means avoiding work, school, and public areas until the infectious period has passed. Measles can be diagnosed from a blood test, a urine test, or a throat swab. In terms of treatment, there is no specific antiviral medication for measles. The treatment is mainly supportive and includes making sure that people have good nutrition and are well hydrated. Vitamin A supplements have shown to reduce the complications of measles. They are given to children in developing countries where vitamin A deficiency is common. So what's the best way to protect against measles? The best way to protect against measles is to get vaccinated. Measles vaccine is usually available in combination with other vaccines like mumps and rubella. The vaccine is safe and efficient and is routinely included in childhood vaccination programs. Two doses of the vaccine are needed to be fully protected against measles. The vaccine is not suitable for those who are immune suppressed or are pregnant. Sometimes susceptible people who are exposed to measles but cannot have the vaccine are given an injection of measles antibodies. However, unlike the vaccine, it provides only temporary protection against measles. For more information about measles and the measles vaccine, talk to your doctor and have a look at the websites below.